Welcome to the MedReady user level screencast video. This will show you how to navigate the MedReady.net portal. First thing you want to do is log in. If you forgot your password, click on Forgot Password and follow the instructions to retrieve it. Log in. You're going to see the summary page immediately and it'll tell you all the information about the device. Uh, if you um, want to manage the device, click up here on Administration, and you're going to see the um, device, and you're going to see an Edit Device tab over here. So you can either click on the device, and it'll show you the summary, or you can go right into Edit and click on it here, and it'll bring up the five tabs. Edit the user's name here, put in there, click Save. Uh, whatever else you want to put in there, um, or remove, click save, and it goes away. So go ahead and edit that again. And you can, um, somebody's editing that. That's okay. Uh, when somebody's doing an update on the system, you'll see that thing spin. Uh, so that was a good in indication that somebody was talking to that device. So go ahead and you'll see your notifications. Enter in your new recipient, email, phone, SMS. There. As many or as little of those as you'd like. Click on alarms. Um, change the alarms. Anything you want. If you want a if you want to disable alarm three and just have alarm one and two, click on that, click save, it'll push out those notifications. If you want to click on settings, um, hover over and it'll tell you exactly what's going on for each of those. And go ahead and click Save again, and it'll push all those out to the device. The Options tab uh, shows you the unit ID and the SIM number and some other information on the device itself. If you click on Administration, and you also get some compliance reports. What you do is you do a new report and there's all kinds of different types of reports that you can do. Um, experiment with these, a raw log, a compliance calendar, and a scorecard, um, different types of formats, the frequency, um, the, um, um, if you have more than one device, you can select those, but if you select all, and then who gets them, just separate them by commas, the emails. And if you clicked all historical data, it'll go back to the beginning of time or how long, however long we keep this, usually two years. Go ahead and um, once you've edited all that stuff, it, you're uh, good to go. If you have any questions, please give us a call. And thank you for using MedReady.